Hey guys, I'm back and I created a three-part series on magnesium and calcium, a very fascinating topic. I'm going to start out with the basics and we're going to focus on magnesium in this video. So magnesium is involved in over 300 enzymes. Enzymes are those proteins that do the work in the body and they help the body uh, in its chemistry. So magnesium is a mineral that is a co-helper in a lot of different things. Uh, protein synthesis, which basically making protein, hair, nails, muscle, energy production. So magnesium is like the spark plug that allows energy to be uh, created in the mitochondria. That's the energy factory of the cell. It's also involved in bone, muscle, nerve, and glucose, carbohydrate metabolism. You need magnesium. So if you're deficient in magnesium, you get cramps. Those cramps could be in your back, in your legs, in your calves. It could be even the arteries. And this is why uh, if you're deficient in magnesium, you can have high blood pressure and your arteries become stiff. When you're low in magnesium, you increase the risk of getting diabetes. Why? Because magnesium is involved in regulating insulin and preventing insulin resistance. Okay, it keeps insulin in check. So if you're low in magnesium, insulin resistance is worse, okay? In fact, if you take magnesium, you'll improve insulin resistance to a certain degree. Okay, kidney dysfunction. You need magnesium to make sure the kidney functions normally. If you're deficient in magnesium, you could develop arrhythmias, which is an abnormal heart rhythm. Uh, mitral valve prolapse, if you're deficient. Insomnia, increased stress and anxiety and fatigue, okay? Now, how do you become deficient in magnesium? One, it's from the diet. You're not consuming enough greens, okay? At the heart of deep leafy green vegetables, you have chlorophyll, and magnesium is the mineral involved in the chlorophyll molecule. It's very similar in chemistry to blood. In blood, you have iron, and in chlorophyll, you have magnesium. Okay, so when you have too much calcium in the body, you can create a magnesium deficiency. And if you have insulin resistance, you're gonna be deficient in magnesium because you can't absorb these minerals. Uh, so your glucose will stay a little bit higher. Now, when you consume refined foods, especially refined carbohydrates, you, you create a, a magnesium deficiency. And of course, eating junk food and drinking alcohol and sodas will also deplete you of magnesium. If you have GI problems, whether it's an ulcer or scar tissue in your gut, or IBS, you won't be able to absorb as much magnesium. If you had a gastric bypass, you won't be able to absorb as much magnesium. Also, if you're on medications to lower acids or prevent the production of acid, as in antiacids, that alone will prevent the absorption of magnesium. All right, in the next video, part two, we're gonna talk about the relationship between magnesium and calcium and magnesium and potassium. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications. Daily notifications, that sounds weird. Well, I'll just remind you on a daily basis. How about that?